What is up everybody, AJ here back with another video. So I'll be checking out the special program for Genshin Impact version 4.8. Now, I'll be very honest with you. I have zero expectations on this update. And as a matter of fact, I have zero expectations on Genshin Impact in general. Simply because of the fact that Gensh the Genshin Division in Hoyoverse they don't listen to the fans even though with the the daily commission more accessible the resin i'm kept to 200 and bosses possibly respawning in 10 seconds after defeating them to me these updates are they're good but they're not mind-blowing this the as a matter of fact right this, the, this stuff that, that Gensh, the Genshin team that has been doing Ever since the um, the Lantern Ride Festival, which happened in version 4.4, has been not exciting at all. The only thing that would probably keep me going is how Netland is going to look like once version 5.0 drops in about 5 to 6 weeks time. But, I'll be real, if the way they present Netland is nothing but mediocre as well, I might as well just stop playing Genshin. I'd be there. I might as well stop playing Genshin. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm done. I might as well play Honkai Star Rail. I might as well play Zenmuzon Zero. I'll be real. Simply because of the fact that Genshin has been doing nothing but video cool stuff. And don't really they, they just do whatever the hell they want. And they don't listen to, to the fans. So back to the, to the 4.8 special program I'm guessing they most likely they're gonna announce a temporary area just like how they did the other 0.8 updates the new character I believe her name is Emil the, 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 the new character with the, the, with the glasses I am I am not really sure what her name is I don't really care she's probably getting her Persuade uh, quest and judging by the thumbnail that I'm looking at in front of my screen right now, most likely Nilo and Kirara will be getting a new outfit there. Nilo's one will be an 8 outfit, just like every other 5 star, five star characters, such as the likes of um, Kachin, Ayaka, Nilo, uh, the Kachin, then Kirara might be we have to do a we have to do an event in order to get her fourth a new outfit just like how we did it for uh Michelle, Lisa, Kaya, uh, and a few and and Barbara. The 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 ones that I can remember. And also they most likely going to we have another teaser of Netland at the end of the special program. So, I'm going to be reacting to the special program and this time I'm going to be as critical as possible. With that being said, let's fire up this special program and let's see what Genshin has to offer in version 4.8. Oh, crap. I'm... Hold on, hold on. Technical error, I'm sorry. Technical error. One sec, one sec. Mute. Dead. My apologies. Great <laughs> special program. <gasps> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Me. Hello, everyone. My name is Amber Aviles, and I voice Emily. A famous perfumer oh, it's, from it's Fontaine. Pronounced Emily. Hey guys, my name is Danny Chambers, and I'm the voice of Milu, a talented dancer from Sumeru. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we all know and that. I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirara, a courier from Inazuma. Oh my gosh, amazing! So uh, I am so happy. Most likely, to have the here. event will take okay. place in Sumeru. Y'all can probably Sumeru. guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Ooh. I like can't I said, wait to see what the developers a have temporary up location, a temporary map. Version. Well, that's what the version 4.8 trailer is for. Let's take a look. Yes. Two, two motherfuckers. 
Really? Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition. That strange smell around here. Yeah, I think this is super. Surround rude. yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions, and you lose the ability to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. And she's a pull arm user. That's a nice. That's a nice looking design of the pole arm though. This will brighten up the place. But she's more like this of DPS. The hero from another world supported by their companions. And they have it. The new the um the new temporary map. Temporary location. That's Kirama's um, outfit, as shown on the thumbnail earlier. Um, that I saw earlier. Wow, Neil's outfit looks good, though. I would say this. She looks like a princess. Her design looks like a Disney princess. Holy crap! Okay. Right. If you actually expect me to answer them all, okay, this is probably something like the championship. Okay, Wanderer. To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, let's just do the Pandango. Dude, Nilo looks like a princess over here, and Kirara looks like a cowgirl. I believe that's um, Kirara's pointing outfit. But I will admit, both Nilo and Kirara, the design looks good. The design looks good. I might, you know what? I might have to put some effort in um, Genshin for, in, for now. Uh, once for version 4.8 drops because I really want to get um, both Nilo and Kirara's outfit. Okay, fine. You got me this time, Genshin. You got me this time. Even though I, I, I made, I made, I have made myself clear that I'm being very critical during at the end of the video because simply because of the fact that Genshin, the Genshin team doesn't listen to the fans. But at least, but I will admit, Nilo and Kirabas, whoever's in, in charge of the the design of Nilo. Um, and Kilara's um, new outfit, for some they get adventures. brownie points. So, this is probably the perfect place to show off our new character. Yes! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, that, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, right, right, let's introduce everyone to one of Fontaine's most renowned I haven't been doing the daily commissions in Emily. Genshin Ooh. as of lately. No. Emily isn't just because a great I just don't... Viewer. She's feel also like a Genshin. I just and don't feel like expert. it. Oh, wait. But that probably 4.8 changes my, my mind. Lines mention that Emily has a true but then again, the an identity that stayed well, a mystery up till now. I have to manage well, no, three, un, um, three other her. games. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and increases blood circulation. So, would you like to join? I have a feeling that a lot of people are gonna skip for her. I mean, skip for her. I have a lot of feeling a lot of people are gonna skip her. They're probably gonna save up for um, the Pyro Archon. Considering the fact that Netland will be up in 6 to 7 weeks' time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's so cool. Right? <laughs> I and as a matter of, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Her Japanese oh voice is by His Hikasa Yoko san, yes. so aka Dentist like Suzuno Baba. Like it's just so right? beautiful. Yes. I'll be real. I know, right? I had. So, let me tell you. I was kind of contemplating on. Maybe I should just skip Emil, Emily, and just save her for the Pyro Archon. But the moment they announced. 
a Japanese voice two, I think it was two days ago, they, the moment they announced um, Emily's Japanese voice, I was like, oh fuck! She's the one who cleans up crime. Emily's Japanese voice is by the, the, the legendary Baba. She's a very Are you serious? So oh, like, okay, you know what? Fine, fine. You got me, Kenshi. You overlooked. Yeah, you got me. Okay. I, I, I oh, might consider oh, okay. pulling for so Emily. Kind of like but I have to check her. Uh, um, you know, I have to see her, her gameplay first. I want to see her gameplay. Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and where they've been spending time. Okay, it, it all makes sense now. <laughs> it's because of her forensics work. That also explains how Emily and Chevrus got so close. Uh-huh, absolutely. Oh. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily generally doesn't talk about her other identity in order to avoid retaliation from suspects. Hmm. So most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, Emily's probably been Wait, through all sorts of again? stressful situations. Oh, right. From like high-end venues to gruesome crime scenes. Mm. Ooh, it must take a lot of mental toughness to handle all that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Emily is a dendropole arm user. When she yeah. unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AoE dendro damage. Ooh, I bet that skill releases AOE a really dendro nice damage. fragrance. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's something Lumidus similar to how um, that Emily Ona's is really proud of. Elemental skill works. It fires puffs of pure dew at nearby similar. opponents periodically. Which deals dendro damage. Oh. When nearby opponents are affected by the burning reaction, the Lumiduce case will accumulate scents at intervals. Oh. Mm. So this know, is. Right? Yeah, After I've been hearing stuff that this, this character will be will be buffing will be characters that have. Uh, level that infuses burning mm. reaction. Two, the Lumiduce case burning or burn. Oh. The damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumidus case created by Emily can exist at a time. Oh, wait, does that mean it's pointless to collect scents once you've already reached level 2, though? <laughs> oh, no, not at all. After Emily's passive talent, Lingering Fragrance has been unlocked. Hmm. The level 2 Lumidus case will release Clear Dew Cologne that scales with every two scents collected. Oh. The Cologne will deal AoE Dendro damage to nearby opponents. Okay. So if I'm understanding this correctly, only enemies under the burning status will create scents, and the damage scales with the number of scents collected by the Lumidus case. <laughs> exactly. That sums it up perfectly. Oh, which means she's best bet with Pyro characters. Emily will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition, oh, and when a Lumidus okay. case is on the field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, okay. Now I understand how Emily's talents can work in a party. So. Once you use her Lumiduce case to apply dendro oh. to your enemies, you can use a pyro skill with a different character to trigger the burning condition. Uh huh. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lumiduce case. Yeah, she can combo well with Alekino, as you can After see you in, in the Emily's video right now. Burst, the Lumiduce case will rise to level three and collect the. Yeah, I mean, she, she's a sub DPS from the way so I see cool. it. This fully she's a sub DPS. Lumiduce case will cause scented dew to continuously descend onto nearby enemies dealing dendro damage yeah. when the level three lumiduce case leaves the field a new lumiduce case will be created mm. this case will be at the same level as the one she collected during her burst okay so if a level two lumiduce case is about to lead the field then you could unleash emily's elemental burst to reset its duration uh, that way, the level yeah, two you can see that she, case will be able to spend even more time um, on the field. Emily's um, <laughs> Bingo. Uh, elemental skill like can combo really well with Genfei's we um, pyro. Experiment with these mechanics for with as well. Okay, I think I understand Emily a lot better now that we've learned about her skills. Mm. She transforms scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem to perfectly combine her talents as both a perfumer and forensic. I wonder if she can combo mm. well with um, <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay, great. Emily <laughs> is an expert with all kinds of scents. No suspect can hope because to in the video the they, they showed that Emily she can combo well with she Alakino and Genfei. The truth. Ooh, are we I wonder get if she can combo well with Kino and Butao. Please. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yes. During Emily's story 
quest, the Pamum de Ambra chapter, yeah. travelers will this is I, this is I, like I said, that has appeared in Sweden. We'll be getting her. Travelers will work with Emily to uncover a uh, series of mysteries related quest. to this flower and expose the truth once and for all. Ooh, so this is pretty much the norm, the norm as well, right? Like every every new character that Genshin has been releasing, in the meantime, I have they will one thousand percent get uh, their own story quest. What is it? They, the upcoming event. They've done it for course. Navia. They've done it for. Yes, let's in the first phase of version four point eight, travelers can look forward to returning event wishes from Navia and Nilu. Navia Be and sure Nilu. Check them huh. out if you're interested. <laughs> and in the second phase of version four point eight, we'll have event wishes for Emily and Yelan. Emily Yela. and Yelan. A new five star polearm Lumidus elegy mm. will also Ooh. be featured on the weapon banner. All right. Okay. That was a <laughs> lot of information just now. So let's take a break for my sake. <laughs> the Navia yeah, Benel, the Navia and Hilo the right Benel might be. Anyway, I'm, I, yeah. I, okay, I assume we that. Will see you soon, travelers. Um, Navia, <laughs> the Navia and Hilo Benel, people are gonna skip. As for the second, um, the second phase of the ben Benel, most of the people. Who well, most likely will be pulling for Yelan. Because Yelan is quite meta, to be real with you guys. Yelan is quite meta. And they might skip Emily. But we'll see. But. And, uh, and speaking from the perspective of a free to play player, right? If you guys do not have a Geo main DPS, you can go ahead and pull for, for Navia. And. If you do, if you guys uh, want a better version of Sing Chiu, I will kindly suggest you put for Yelan. But to be real with you guys, I think it's better if you put for Yelan from the perspective of the free to play player, because among the four characters that is, even though Nilo is uh, my favorite character among the four, Ooh, like one of my favorite characters among the four. And if we're headed to a beautiful to be location, real, then it's only from the perspective of a feed with a year, I would yes, heavily exactly. suggest you guys you so pull right. for Yelan because she's so good. New outfits in she's version so 4. good when if you, yes! she's the she you can <laughs> pair her well with so any ready. other so other teams. Oh, okay. She's probably the most new. flexible character as a as a matter of fact. It's totally awesome. She's trying to be a, a better version of Sing Chiu. Okay, take a look, take a look, take a look. And I believe they're showing, yeah, okay, they're showing Nilo's dress. Holy mother of Jesus! Come with me on a fairy tale journey. Dude, she looks like a f a Disney princess. I present to you a gift from the forest. Not gonna lie, she looks like a freaking Disney princess. This looks, the design looks so good. Not gonna lie. Oh my god! Oh my god! The so art, beautiful. the art. Oh, holy, so holy! Hold on, let me let me move my look, like let me move my face. Look oh at the god. art, man! Yes. Holy oh moly! Oh, so Damn! Oh, it, it really it suits really Milu too, don't you think? Yes, it's oh, it just shows off her. She really looks like a, so a Disney happy. princess. Not gonna lie. <laughs> there's there's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Go Does on. everyone remember the title of the new version? Yeah. Summer tide scales and tails. Like fairy tales, right? Oh, oh yeah. Yes. 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 Cool. No wonder they're yeah. going for the, exactly. the Disney this princess summer, theme. Travelers will get to visit a fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Nilu will get a new outfit and a new identity. Oh. That is so exciting. So awesome. <laughs> yes. It's going to be so good. Interesting. Wait, now. So I'm guessing Simulanka is the new summer region? Yep, okay, and this fairy tale world is facing here. all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover a giant footprint shortly after entering this world. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Whoa, whoa. That footprint is huge. <laughs> Wait a second. Right? <laughs> You'd have to be massive to leave a footprint like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. That is a oh, dinosaur. And if you follow the footprints into the depths footprint. of the region, okay, then you I might see. be able to find some clues. Origami animals live in this forest, so you might be able to get some valuable information from them. Ooh, Ooh that's helpful. Mm -hmm. huh. I noticed some of the animals look off color. Yes, they do. Very perceptive of you. 
some of the origami animals are in big trouble. The color <gasps> of their paper is fading. Oh, I know, no. and it's so oh. sad. <laughs> So travelers will need to work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Oh, oh my gosh. I will do anything to help In Adela's, we're going on a journey with Dino. I know. I mean. Anyone home with me. Yes. But, okay. <laughs> travelers won't have to face these crises alone. They'll receive help from okay. all sorts of companions during their journey in Simulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. And Nadia! Yes. Oh, yeah, Kirara hat guy. Hat guy. <laughs> karamush, <laughs> karamush, that's to be fun. Dungo. Hopefully, I got the lyrics correct. If I got the lyrics wrong, I'm very sorry okay, to so every single Queen fan out there. Cool new outfit. Can we take a closer mm -hmm. look? Thank you for noticing. Well, <laughs> that's just what I've been waiting for. Alright, let's yes. have a. Alright, let's have a better look at. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops. <laughs> Nothing new for me. She looks like a cowgirl. Yeah, definitely from Ting Team. Won't I get funny looks from people if I dress like this on a delivery? Nah, you look you look you look, you look like a cowgirl. Oh, oh my god. Okay, let me let me move so my face cute. again. Yes. So cute. I know. Oh, she's so Phantom cool. Phantom in like boots. She's ready for an adventure. <laughs> hat, 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 what? Hat, hat. Is she trying to get? Oh, yeah. What is she, Zoro? Yes. Yeah, the color, style, and the accessories all complement Kirara perfectly. What is she, really Zoro? Like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you yes. better watch out. <laughs> well, best of all, <laughs> travelers will be able to obtain this outfit for free. Wow. Excerpts of bliss will yep. be scattered throughout Simulanka. Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and open fairy tale troves to obtain excerpts of bliss. Ooh. After you've collected enough of these excerpts, travelers can obtain Kirara's new outfit for free. Plus, Ooh. they can also get primo gems and other rewards. Yes! Oh, awesome! I know what I'm doing at the minute 4.8 goes live. Collecting excerpts of bliss so I can get my hands on that outfit. Okay, so oh, collect yeah. excerpts of bliss yeah. to get that outfit. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah you can uh, definitely <laughs> count me in. Oh, I love it. There's so much to do in the new version. You think so? Well, there's even more content in the big summer update. Huh? Yes, there's more. Free Kirara so as well? A bunch of fabulous events. But then again, I already have Kirara, it. so oh, I'm cool. Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Travelers mm -hmm. can look forward to four different kinds of gameplay in Simulanka, and they all follow a unique theme. Ooh. The first is called Boreal Flurry. Hmm. Travelers Whoa, will have to games. through streaming Hold on, maybe, Excuse me while I move my face back to over rewards. here. Destroying my special apologies. targets will even produce unique effects. I really, really, really love to say more, but we'll let more travelers games. experiment with them in the game. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's, like, it's best I do it day one once awesome. for what it drops. Right? So cool. Oh. Okay, next up, we have Flying Hatter's Trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, okay. hey, it looks like a claw machine, just like the ones in the arcades. Yes. Oh. Exactly. But I'm then again, still terrible at those. Claw machines in real life. The chance of getting those those um, <laughs> dolls right is ridiculously <laughs> low. Play is called Metropole Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Defeating opponents will accumulate valor. Building your valor energy oh, will this, trigger a time for this, valor, um, which grants buffs to your team. Ass is, oh, no. um, kind of a time for valor is active will earn you even more points. Oh, and travelers who take part in these three events will earn star sail coins. In figurine fabrication, travelers can insert these coins into fantastical fabricators to earn keepsake figurines. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes it even easier for travelers to remember their journey. Aww, what a cute origami oh, hamster. So cute. Gotcha. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of those back when um, I was young. I, we put in all, we put all, them, all, the, all those quads or sheets or whichever you want to... Whichever you guys call it rewards, in your own um, gems, homeland. Serenity pot furnishings. Yeah. I, oh, and travelers and then can display the, the, the figurines the, on the, good the both inside you the Serenity You guys know what I'm talking about. And around Simulanka. But don't worry if you don't receive the figurine that you want. You can also gift and trade figurines with your friends. Oh, yes! Oh, that's a relief. That's awesome. Oh, that's yes. So cool. Okay. Ah, 
It sounds like the summer region gives us a lot to look forward to. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else version 4.8 has in store. Yeah, oh, I think this is the only okay. thing that I, uh, I'll, I'll be jumping right in. All right, let's take a look I at the rest the, of the, the event. Only thing that will, that, oh, the only right, reason yes. that I'll continue oh, playing Genshi up, in 4.8 is, is that theater. event. A once Not gonna lie. Canvas has been sitting in a the only the reason I'll... Lobby. I'll, now, I'll bother playing Genshin have is the, the summer surface. event, <gasps> this and that's really much it. Gameplay mode will launch in version 4.8. Nice. Five Wait. envisaged echoes challenges will become available Hold in on. version 4.8. Each challenge New... will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys of echoes upon entering the challenge, the and feature? each challenge requires two keys to unlock. If you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's Echo Cosmetic Reward. Echo Cosmetic Yay. Reward? <laughs> yes! And once you've equipped an Echo onto its designated character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while they're sprinting! Oh my gosh! Diluc's Echo looks like flaming feathers! That's so cool! <gasps> yes! And Chi Chi's Echo seems to give her ghost companions. Ooh. Honestly, I feel Ooh. like that's something the future would be effect. super interested in. <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on. I have a question. If we only start off with two keys, then that means we can only unlock one challenge, right? Mm. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Travelers can receive one key from each season of the Imaginarium Theater where they complete and finalize a combat performance in Act 6 or higher. Oh, stuff. okay, so you can't nah. unlock those Echo rewards in one go. I'm not gonna want to put King oh, yes, exactly. on, on this cosmetic stuff. So take your time, everyone. There's no need to rush. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> but oh, at least it's permanent, way, but... Only I don't think I'll be putting effort on, character. on that. You're also going to have to pay nah. attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The participating character must be level 90, and their friendship level must be 8 or higher. It's time to test how well you truly know your characters. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reveal the about 85% of my well characters are already character, at friendship level well max and their skills. at level 90. Each challenge has specific obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully master the only ones that didn't again. reach That's awesome. max oh, man, friendship I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. and max level so of the four stars. <laughs> you can also look forward to a ton of events happening because in I mostly put the Effort on leveling up my by in Romaritime Harbor, which allows travelers to play Bing Bang Finchball. Thanks, Basima. Basima and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Okay, what the hell is oh, this? Oh wait, wasn't there also a Basima in version 3.8? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that's right. The Basima we met last year was a Hydra Idolin replica of a human who once visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version of Finchball. The Basima in Fontaine is her descendant. Mm. Wow. That is such a neat connection. Yeah. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of Finchball. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still need to launch finch balls into target zones in order to score points. Oh, but this these new stages will have rival finch balls. Oh. Rival finch balls will this make it mini harder game. To score points, I remember so this. Travelers will need to strategize based on the situation in front of them. Ooh, oh. I like the new changes. Oh. I'm excited to try the new finch ball. I and remember that's this. That's not the only new addition. This version also has a co-op mode. What? So Let's you go. can be each other's rival finch Amazing. balls. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co-op mode. Each this level should has be different fun. terrain characteristics and types of finch balls. Players will take turns launching finch balls, and the person with the most but points after like four rounds will win the match. This Ooh, mini game is really fun. No matter who wins, wouldn't it be better if totally. it's a four-player I mean, co-op? Guys, look at the little finches. I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> wouldn't it be better if it's, if it's a four-player co-op instead of a two? And speaking of cute, or is it meant to be a two-player call? Does still remember Asagiri's spoke? Feel free to comment down below. Uh, uh, uh yeah. yeah no. Hold <laughs> up. <laughs> Why I feel like I've seen this event Asagiri before? Asagiri has made her way to Fontaine, but this time her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can oh, easily this... satisfy the commission requirements by submitting this photos photo of event. their characters. Again. The interval timer mode has also been added. Hmm making it easier for travelers to capture their characters in the perfect moment. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see what all the master photographers are going to come up with. Oh, yeah. 
We'll also have the opportunity to meet up with Hosseini and Fontaine. I don't think and I'll be putting it, putting that. Upgraded energy amplifier puro, with him. Um, Wait, wasn't event. Hosseini studying energy amplifiers in order to graduate? Oh. Does does uh, this mean that he still hasn't graduated? Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. I um. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific research is filled with obstacles. <laughs> this time, Hosseini has integrated the energy amplifier with Fontanian technology to create the Hosseini amplifier. And he'll need our help to test it out in combat. Listen, if we can help him finally graduate, I am definitely in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> uh, what, totally. is, what is this? So, in each stage, travelers will need to form three parties to participate in three consecutive rounds of combat tests. Mm. Oh, okay. Each party member will be different based on their character characters. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, three different teams, factors, which grant buffs in combat. Oh, so the same uh, can I skip? Can be assigned in multiple parties. Can but I skip this? Characters won't provide motive force. Even though that's people who just but can I skip? I don't feel like putting effort so into this event. Like, in I'll be real. Teams. Oh, but no, I've been okay, playing Genshin ever since version 1.0. So, I don't feel like putting ever into this sure event. That each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way, we can obtain a higher score. Or <laughs> exactly. I'll just, I'll just like Once you know what? I'll just wait until the entire, the party, entire challenge has been unlocked, and then I'll dedicate one day and just, right. I'll just um, clear everything in one in, in one go. Awesome. Regardless of okay, how the result is, then just clear this thing one go. I know, oh, TGG, I not interested. I'm excited about card games. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm legit have, have zero motivation to play in Genius Invocation TCG. I'm sorry. I have no motivation to play in TCG at all. I'm sorry. I have too many games that requires my attention. So next. Let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah's Ooh. on a roll today. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first off, Ooh, the though. encounter points system has been improved. In version 4.8, excess encounter points earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh. Travelers oh, won't excellent. have to worry about them going to waste anymore. Ooh. Okay, so how do we use the points that we've stored? The points. Well, travelers how can convert that? their long-term encounter points into daily encounter points by spending original resin. Long-term encounter points will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You can spend them immediately. So cool. Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, also, the cooldown for all world bosses will be reduced to 10 seconds. Okay, so this is confirmed. Mm -hmm. I know. So this is confirmed. That should make it a lot easier to farm materials. That works perfectly with the changes to the encounter point oh, system. You'll be able to convert oh, so encounter cool. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. Okay, so this is confirmed. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click high UI feature, which will hopefully provide a more immersive Why experience. Why do you guys addition, didn't have we'll this feature, feature that allows travelers to review way earlier? Text and audio Why, Genshin? Why? So don't worry about missing out on any details. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, <laughs> that is perfect for travelers who like to take screenshots and travelers who like to analyze the dialogue. Hmm. Oh, you can look forward to a bunch of other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. sure. Some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level 3. The difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered. Just to name a few. Oh, oh this is for... That will be so helpful for new players. Uh, It'll be easier to pass that, Amber's that gliding is, test. They just <laughs> jump right into Genshin. Oh. I know, but... Be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Hmm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, we still <gasps> have some more information to share. Netlin. Oh, first, let's display Netlin. the final redemption code. Dun da da da. We wait with bated breath. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Milo looks so good. I'll see this. Alright, let's, okay, let's be real. So what I will do in version 4, once version 4.8 drops, is most likely 
I was doing during the the summer event where I'm I will see it's supposed like we exploring the entire area with Milo. It's neat, which I don't personally don't mind. Um and secondly, I most likely will be getting Nilo's outfit and Kirara's free outfit. I think that's the, probably the only thing that I'll, I don't mind doing. Everything else, screw it. Because I'll be real, I have, I have other games that requires my attention. Hokai Star Rail, Solo Leveling Rise, and the recently released Gender Welcome Zone back, Zero. Time Let's to show off Netlin, Genshin. Oh, whoa, what's that? It looks so cozy. I want to be there. I know, right? Okay, <laughs> listen carefully, everyone. I have an important mm -hmm. announcement. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual Netland event that celebrates teaser. all Hoyo vs. games. Mm. Oh, so not just Genshin Impact. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah! Starting in July, Hoyo like Fest by the way. will host a series of online and offline events. By participating in these events, you'll have the chance to obtain Hoyo Fest themed merch, event exclusive mm. gifts, and both in-game and out-of-game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. More detailed information will be posted across Genshin Impact's official accounts, so stay tuned! <laughs> so exciting! We also have an exciting collaboration to announce. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums in the mm -hmm. world, Sea Aquarium. Yeah. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entirely new collaboration experience. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. The, uh, let me think. Uh, mission four it's gotta be a Fontaine around, collaboration, uh, right? Mm. Yes, Game. you guessed it. Nailed it. This event will be based on Fontaine. Sijuin, the head nurse at the Fortress of Meripede, will guide travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impact's and Sea Aquarium's official accounts for more information. Oh, Next. I'm so ready. <laughs> Fish Next. Fish. Awesome. Now for some out of game genius invocation TCG news. Next. Woo! The knockout stages of Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific regions will be held soon. The Atlantic stage will take place on July 27th, and the Pacific stage Stop will be held showing me stuff that I'm not interested, buddy. So look forward to a fierce showdown between top players from those two regions. Mm. <laughs> There's also a little surprise in store for you all. Uh -huh. Before the knockout stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back in their in-game mailbox. Yeah, let's go. So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. And that's not all. Genjin Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 4, will become available in version 4.8. It will feature original Genjin Impact music composed by the Hoyo Mix team. Yay! It includes tracks from version 4.8 events, cutscene music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Oh, I'm so excited for music it! Music slaps! Music! <laughs> yeah, I guess you music slaps. Yeah, we all know that. Alright, that's all the information that we have to share. Then that means... Yeah... You all are done for the day. Again. It's time for the special program to end? Yeah... Oh. I know. Well, is there anything y'all want to say before we go? Yes. Uh, I'm very excited for the costumes for Nilo and Kirara. They are so adorable, and I can't wait to see like their yes. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm, I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. I, too, as an unbiased individual, am excited about that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I might do but, the, oh, the summer so, event so uh, too, for in the 4K. Echoes. Like, oh, I'm so down for might. all of this customization and the music. Especially the fact that oh, I, so I genuinely Listen, I'm just like very excited. Nilo. Well, I just wanted to say I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yeah. As for I Emily, like I know totally. And what I, I am think I'll do is I will do a, a I will do a no commentary walkthrough. That is in so uh, Japanese and version, cool. and I'll put it on my YouTube channel. Right. So epic. Yes. So do look forward to that. All right. Well, this is the end of the special program. Thank it's, you I'm genuinely all not excited so to react here. to Emily's um, and, yeah, I guess story we'll quest see to be with you guys. Bye. Okay.
but at least you will get a no commentary walkthrough of Emily's story quest in Japanese version. There you go. More more teaser on on um wait. Okay, we have new character. I'm trying not to get excited. I'm not trying I'm trying not to get too excited. So we have a new character. Are those enemies? They look like the new enemy. Okay, more new character. Whoa, what the hell? So here, that's a Claymore user. Okay, so far they reviewed three new characters. And new enemies. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Genshin Impact version 4.8 special program, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on the special program, um, the updates, Milo's outfit, Kirawa's new outfit, and the wee bit teaser of um, Netland at the end of the, of the special program. Leave a comment down below. Till then, thank you guys for watching. I will be back for more updates. Most likely, um, I'll be back for more updates on Zenless Zone Zero because I will be focusing on that game for the next few weeks until version 4.8 drops where I will most likely will be doing the the, the the temporary area event. I think that's that's will be the only thing that I'll be doing because as I mentioned earlier I have a tons of games that I that I have to keep an eye on. But hopefully um we'll, we'll see how hopefully the, the event's good because I will be reacting to the that event. As for Emily's uh, story quest, as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a no commentary walkthrough on Emily's story quest. I'm explain my reaction because I, as I, like I said, I have absolute zero interest in the story quest. I'll be giving you guys, but at least I'm willing to spend time doing a no commentary walkthrough on uh, Emily's story quest. And I will do it in Japanese version because I'm pretty sure most of you guys are looking forward to hearing the Densets, Den, um, Emily voiced by the legendary Baba. Uh, so look forward to that. Look forward to that. Till then, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will be back for more updates. My name is AJ, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.